What's up, guys? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for viewing my videos. All right, we got an interesting debate, uh, heated debate going on, and um, that's perfectly fine. The people that want to do nothing but judgments and name-calling, that's on their own thing. I'm not even going to be concerned about that. Um, I want to thank the people for the support and using common sense that we can make change. You just have to know how, and you can actually do it without pulling a trigger. So... One thing people have to understand, because there are people that obviously have no idea what they're talking about, and they're just doing nothing but using their their lower vibrational, like, they're basically their anger and their lower emotions to control their thoughts and processes. Sheriffs have more authority than an FBI agent. As a matter of fact, if you actually look up the power of a sheriff, which, by the way, is appointed by the people, they can override a presidential executive order. They can basically tell the president to go F off. The reason that they don't, and the reason why so many illegal laws are being passed, is because the local sheriffs in every community either don't know they have the power, or they're paid off to have a nice cushiony job where they get paid a lot of money to do nothing. So if you want to make change in this world, we have to do it the right way. Every single person call their local sheriffs and ask them why they are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Because a sheriff does not follow executive orders unless they choose to. They can tell the FBI to F off. They can tell the president, thanks for your executive order, we're not following it. People really need to know what's going on. So if you want to go to this ranch and do it the wrong way by basically going there all with your feathers all ruffled, with your guns ready to go, saying, go ahead, go ahead, make the first move. I can't wait to pull the trigger. Well, guess what? You're doing it the wrong way. You're going to get yourself killed. You're going to get other people killed. The government's going to step right in, and they're going to create all these more laws. It's going to be martial law, and the average person's going to lose what little freedoms we have left. And I guarantee you that if it got to that point, they'll shut down the internet like that. There goes all the information that awakens the people. Or you can realize that your local sheriffs throughout wherever you live have the authority to supersede any federal order. And if we actually go to them and basically have 5,000 people go to each community sheriff, each county sheriff, and say, either you do your job or we'll appoint a new sheriff, guess what? You are creating change in a positive way. So for those of you saying that, oh, what are you going to do? You're not going to call the sheriff? I'm going to show you guys right now. I am calling the sheriff in Clark County. And here's the number to prove it. Yes, hi. Um, I was wondering, I've been hearing on the news of what's going on over at the uh, Bundy Ranch, and I was under the impression that a local sheriff in their uh, community can actually override any federal authority. So I, as a concerned American, is really wondering how come the local sheriff is not helping those people, because as far as I'm concerned, the sheriff has the constitutional right to override even a presidential law. So as a concerned American, I wanted to call and, and voice my opinion. Okay, I have that down. Did you want to leave your name? Or? Um, well, I have a YouTube channel that I talk about this stuff. I go by the name of Barnon 11970 That's the name I would like to leave. But okay, I just... Sorry, what was it? Uh, it's Barnon 11970 oh, okay. Yeah, just think of like uh, Bar and then N-O-N-E, and it's the number is 11970. The problem is, I just want people to know, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but in the Act of 1871, our Constitution was overthrown by the 42nd Congress and created a new Constitution that 99% of the world doesn't know about. I researched this stuff. I don't know if you're familiar with that. And, no, I wasn't. Okay. If you ever actually have the opportunity to look up the Act of 1871, our 42nd Congress of the United States of America to try and keep the country from being bankrupt from the Civil War, sold a corporation and they named it the United States. And they created a new constitution in the District of Columbia. That is not the original constitution. So when these military and federal agents who are saying they swear the oath to the constitution, they're not swearing to the constitution that you're aware of and we're told about. And 
the sheriff has the local authority to be able to supersede even a presidential executive order. And what's going on now is a land grab using the turtles as an excuse for the ability to frack that land and, and basically stop food from being able to be processed through the cattle ranch. So I, just as a concerned American who does a lot of research on this, wanted to voice my opinion and hope that this sheriff can actually show that he has the power to supersede any FBI agent so there isn't bloodshed. Because I'm hearing a lot of military type of militia people wanting to go there, and that could hurt a lot of people. And the last thing I want is anyone to get hurt. Yes, you're right. So I, I hope you see this as me trying to educate people and trying to stop what could become almost a civil war. And, and I hope that you will actually look up the Act of 1871 because my heart is in the right place and I want to show people what's really going on. And if you look that up and research it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It may sound crazy, but it's 100% true. Okay, you got it. So thank you very much for listening and uh, I really hope that this sheriff does the right thing. Okay, sir. I appreciate your call. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I hope you heard that. I want to see somebody call me a coward now. Peace.